Since the last episode, I seem to have broken the camera angle. Hello, everybody. It's Sonic Blue Sky, and welcome back to Let's Play Tales of Symphonia. In the last episode, um, what did we do? We figured out that the killer of Perseus' sister, Alicia, was indeed Regal. Regal. How could you? Uh, that just makes him more of a badass. In this episode, we're heading off to the next sum Summon Spirit Temple. The Temple of Darkness. Wow, it's pitch black. It seems that the power of the Summon Spirit of Darkness is a strong area effect on this area. Man, it's so dark. Whoa! Ow, my precious foot. We can't proceed like this. Let's try the Elemental Research Laboratory. They've supposedly done research here before, so they should know a way to light this darkness. Yes, that sounds like a good idea. Come on, everyone. Let's go back outside. M my foot! <laughs> so, yes. Um, my recording window seems to be, like, very low on volume, so hold on a second. Haha! -ha! Knew it. The recording level was at... 69 for some reason. I have no idea why. Um, so we're gonna head over to Mel Tokyo. Uh, yes, you have to go through here, so I'll meet you guys at the Elemental Research Laboratory. Alright, so upon coming into the city, I may as well answer this, or talk about this. Uh, Rain tells you that we shouldn't enter heavily guarded areas of the city, and oh my god, Kratos! I've heard that sacred wood only grows in the area near Rosette. Is that correct? Y yes Then, does that mean that sacred wood no longer exists? The wood I cut is stored in the church. So that really he is all that is left. I seem to have no choice. Wait! Why is Crucius worried about sacred wood? Yggdrasil tried to use you don't, never mind. It's none of your business. Go away. Necessary for what? I do not feel the need to tell you that now. Even though it's freaking hilarious. Okay, no, it's not really. Actually, Kratos is, seems to be cooking up something. But we don't know what it is. Which you cannot predict the outcome. It may result in something that you cannot undo. But if there is no other way to save both worlds, then we have to do it. Be patient, Lloyd. What does that mean? What the hell do you think it means? It means be patient. Ah, Lloyd. Why does it sound like you know, something's going on? <sighs> Hold on. Okay. We have a bit of a favor to ask you all. If it's alright, you see, Shadow's Dungeon. And she you know, proceeds to explain. Oh, I see. Oh, no. What, is, what was the voice I gave him? I forget. Oh, I see. In that case, the blue candle should be of use to you. Blue candle? It's a holy candlestick that negates the power of darkness. You have that here? Yes. Relying on ancient documents, we succeeded in creating it here in our lab. Then, could we borrow one? Of course, we'd be... Hey, it's these guys' fault that Kate was arrested. We can't help them. But they're Sheena's friends. Kate? What about Kate? Kate is going to be executed for harboring criminals and helping them escape. Because of us. Damn it! Lloyd, please, let's save Kate. Lloyd, I... I want to save her as well. Yeah, but how? How about particip... Er, how about participating in the matches being held at the Coliseum? The Coliseum? What for? It was originally constructed to watch fights between prisoners and wild beasts. There's a passage inside the prison which allows prisoners to be taken into the Coliseum. Oh, that's right. You were in there before. Then let's hurry up and rescue her. Everyone, oh yeah, so we gotta go save the half-elf bitchy person. Uh, basically, this is a way that the story makes you go to the Coliseum if you were never intending to visit it before. It's so that they can explain the Coliseum mechanics. Um, on entering, you're going to want to come to her. And you can enter anybody you want. Bleh. Anybody. Most recommended person would probably be Zelos, um, because he has healing power, and I don't know if you can use items. I'm pretty sure you can, but, you know, that way you don't waste items. Um, 
Lloyd is also a good choice. Uh, Genus and Rain are highly not are not recommended at all. They are probably one of the worst choices you can make. But getting them through the actual uh, Colosseum matches uh, after this story point um, will net them some very very good items. They get their best titles and their best um, their second best or third best. Uh, weapons. I forget which, but I'm going to be entering Lloyd. Uh, uh, yes, you have to have that amount of money. You have to have 15,000. I think it's 15,000. You may need 10,000. I forget, I think, I don't know if 10,000 gold is, like, extra. Um, but yeah, you need to pay, or you need to have that amount of money. I think it's 15,000. So go up and grind gold, because otherwise you are not getting in. If you don't have that much. It's really hard to not have that much at this point. And we get our first fight. Man, there's a lot of them. Du two duelists and a sorceress. Highly recommend you take out the sorceress first. Whoa! Whoa! I did not expect that. Oh my god, oh my god. These enemies are extremely weak, though. So, it's extremely hard to lose to them, and I have the volume way too high up. So, yeah. Oh my god! Okay. Dude! I'm like really, I'm doing terribly here. I don't know how I'm gonna do the later Coliseum matches because those get pretty tough. No way. No way. We have to think of something. Oh my god, I'm 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 dying. Yeah, you can't use items. There we go. Don't remember if you're healed after everyone though. And I lost great. I expected that. Oh, you can use items between matches. Not bad at all. Oh, you only had to win that one match? Really? That's kind of cheap. Um, but yeah. I think normally you can use items. But, yeah. Yes, let's hurry. Let's get out of here, dude. Do that. Thank you. I don't know, it's like, thank you. She's like supposed to be British because she has glasses. That's not a stereotype. What am I talking about? <laughs> now that we've rescued her, what is she going to do? Do you have any family? My mother passed away. My father is... No. No? You don't say no. You say no. I have, I have a favor to ask you. Please take me to Ozette. Ozette? It's in ruins now, are you sure? Excuse me. Yes, please. That's where I was born. Alright. That sounds like really cockney. Doesn't even sound true English. Thank you for saving me, even though I was the one that experimented on Persea. We're here because you helped us because... Oh, shoot. Excuse me. <laughs> We're here because you helped us escape, and you were about to be executed because of that. So we had to save you. Even if you know who I, am, who I really am... Who you really are? My mother was an elf. My father is human. And is currently the Pope of the Church of Martell. <gasps> oh! What? Her father's the Pope? But it was the Pope who ruled that all half-elves who commit crimes are be punished by death. What? Why did he do something like that when his own daughter is a half-elf? Hey, hey, don't get angry with me. With my... Now he's suddenly Jace from Dragon Ball Z. W wait, don't do anything bad to my father. Why? He's done bad things to you. Bad, awful, terrible things. When my father ordered me to perform experiments to turn x into Crucius Crystals, I was very happy. My father finally needed me. I don't understand. I can't understand that. 
Genus, calm down. But... I think I understand a little. Colette. When I thought that Remiel might be my father, I was happy that my father had finally come to see me. Even though I knew that the journey would end in my death. I'm going to think by myself for a while about my father and half-elves. Thank you so much for saving me, and Prisea. Yes? I'm sorry. Goodbye, British chick. Hopefully we never see you again. This is sad. Why do things wind up like this? Two forces will always oppose each other. Silverant and Tetheala, elves and human, heaven and earth. And those in the middle are sacrificed. Half-elves, the great seed, and the chosen as well. It's wrong to say that someone can be sacrificed. But any time there are two people, one will be sacrificed by the establishment of superiority. It's the same way with countries and worlds. Equality is an illusion. Birth, status, appearance, race, you're engulfed by the, these things. So this game is pretty much trying to tell you that the world is racist and you can never change it. That's a nice message, isn't it, Namco? You just said little by little. Never mind. People can change. The whole point of this, I think the whole motif of this entire game is that uh, get now we get the blue candle. Um, it's change. It is the process of change. It is making the world change as a whole. And even if you're just one person, you can change it. With the help of a few other people. Hence, the rest of the party. So yeah, um, I'm going to do one last thing before um, we go to the Temple of Darkness. Uh, there's one thing we're going to want to do, and that is go back to Flanor, so I'll meet you guys there. Oh, wait. Will she really be alright, left alone in that village? Uh, Kate chose that life for herself. Back to Flanor. Okay, upon entering Flanor, come right with this guy, and he'll want that Celsius' tier that we had the entire time. We don't need any more. He gives you 5,000 gold, so that's free, a free 5,000 gold right there. Just thought I'd mention that. So, with that done, in the next episode, we will be heading off to the Temple of Darkness um, to hopefully make a pact with the Summon Spirit of Darkness. Why did... How many skits do I have? Holy God. Holy God, yeah. Let's see what this is. To think the arena and the prison were connected. Good job, Regal. It is a shameful thing that I knew that. Well, but thanks to that, we were able to rescue Kate, so don't worry about it. Even if you searched all of Tethiala, you wouldn't find another noble who's got connections to high society, big business, and the jail cell. Hey, hey, Zelos, knock it off! A truly shameful thing. <laughs> uh, Regal. Okay. So yeah, in the next episode we're going to go to the Temple of Darkness. I'll see you guys then.